Well, welcome to offthegreedinoz.com. This is how we distill water. <laughs> yeah, hate that chuckle. Anyway, look, this is our water purification plant. You can see we have a setup that's called a Chinese pot still. Now these pot stills are pretty damn good, pretty cheap. We've got ours running on propane, or you, or you sort of can see the flames under there. Propane powered, so there's no electricity required, obviously, for off the grid. That's the main boiler. It heats up the water, and then it condensates into what's called a thumper. You like my little stand, my high-tech stand, yes. We're all into high-tech here, plastic buckets upturned. But yes, the thumper is the little thing in the middle, and it actually double distills to take out all the impurities in the water. Right, over here we have the cooler or the condenser. Two pipes coming in and out. The pipes run water through the coil. Keep the coil cool to make it condense to create the water. Right, no, we store water in funny bottles, that's alright. Now over here we have the cooling sink. A little 12 volt pump in there. It's a little 1.3 amp 12 volt pump. Doesn't draw any current. Comes off the same battery that we have running the outdoor kitchen lights. Lights that are up there. There's a light. Lights right through the kitchen. And it's powered by just one battery down there. One little battery runs all the lights through that little controller. I know the volume's going up and down, but never mind. So yes, this still doesn't use hardly any energy. Have a big gas bottle out the side. Lasts forever, lasts like three months. But we can distill heaps and heaps and heaps of water for purifying what we drink because we like purified stuff to drink. But yes, Kerry's very impressed by this. The still itself was only about the $300 mark, which isn't too bad. And it's double distilled to take all the nasties out of the water to put in the funny bottles that we cool from the sink. Alright, so that's just a quick rundown on... Don't look at that bottle over there. No, that's just... That's the discoloured water. Yes, discoloured water before we actually distill it. Right, that's it. You believe me, I believe me. Yes, so we've got a cooling system at the sink, simple 12 volt pump, 1.3 amps, runs forever, just circulates water up to a couple of little plastic hoses into the cooling condenser. The thumper double distills and the little pot, well, she just boils it away. Got a thermometer on top, you can't see the temperature, but meant to run these at around about, for water, just over 200 degrees. I sort of run it. I'm not going to worry about telling you what I run it at. That'll be the next video. So yes, hope you um, get something out of this. Distilling water may be necessary if you have to get water out of a dam and your life straws are all dead. We keep considerable amount of life straws in the house. But if you have to resort to puddles and, and dams and things, well, yeah, a still to distill water is a damn good idea. So here we go, there's Jess, Jess is my assistant, yes the outdoor kitchen, we spend half our life out here, you can see the house over there, but yeah we spend a lot of our time out here, if we're stuck for ideas, we've got the old internet TV up there, all running on solar, or everything we run off 3 kilowatt, remember if you, read, if you bother to read anything on our website, Three kilowatt powers, everything, and about five of these standalone 200 amp hour batteries doing all the 12 volt work around the place. No generator runs, and I thought I'd just throw that in. Some people think you have to have a generator off grid. Well, if you modify your lifestyle enough, you can do silly things like distill water, and you can actually do a whole heap of other stuff lighting and pumps and stuff doesn't really affect the three kilowatt system. It runs on a real dull day. It'll go for four days. No sun. Anyway, so that's distilling water. 
Chinese pot still. Very cheap to buy. I know you can buy air stills, I know, but they use like 300 watts, 250 watts. You can buy the bigger 2000 watt or 1500 watt um, air stills. And there's even, a, I think there's a thing called a turbo still. They run around about 1000 watts odd, 1200 watts. Way too much to pull off any off-grid system. So there we have it. An off-grid water distillation system. Complete with high-tech buckets to hold things in the air. Very simple. Well worth the investment if you have a couple hundred bucks spare. And you can also distill oils out of plants and all sorts of weird and wacko stuff. Kerry does a whole heap of stuff. Me, I'm the water distilling person. And that's it. Hope this has been of some use to somebody at some point if you ever watch it. Feel free to comment down below. You can subscribe if you like. That's up to you. Pop into our website, offthegreedinoz.com. Kerry and I won't take your information and use it for evil, evil things. We won't spam you. So please feel free to actually subscribe and pop into the website. Feel free to join. Fair bit of information there. It's only new. We've been off grid for, as the website explains, this is our eighth year. Second property, eighth year. So we've pretty much gone through all the trauma and know most of the answers or within reason. So there you go. Off the grid in Oz.com. And I'm going to go inside now. It's actually a chilly day. It was 30 something degrees yesterday and now it's almost chilly. Distilling water may save your life. Cheers from Steve for the moment anyway. Hope to see you next time. Bye.